Hey guys, Common Sense Outdoorsman here. I want to show you this knife and uh, then we'll try to go outside and use it now. It's about 10 degrees out. I moved to Arkansas to get away from the colder, snowy Colorado winters and now we're in a deep freeze and we've got snow on the ground. So I'm going to do the best I can. Um, don't have a lot of my tools with me. A lot of stuff is still packed away, but I'm going to take you down to the table. Let's talk about this JXO. Oh, I'm sorry, JXE JXO knife that was supplied to me by them. And um, so this is an outdoor knife. It's about eight and a half inches long. The blade's about four inches. It's got some heft to it. It's 420 uh, high carbon steel. I'm going to say I don't have all my stuff with me, but I think it seems like it's about um, about eight ounce knife. G10 handle. Okay. Look at that blade shape. Uh, they talk about bushcraft and outdoor knife and everything. I think that would probably make a good uh, skinner also. Uh, pretty good jimping there. Comfortable. I'm going to say that this blade is definitely over three millimeters, over an eighth of an inch thick. I'm going to say could be closer to four millimeter. Okay. Uh, so a pretty hefty knife. It does have a, a lanyard hole hole at the pommel. It is a striking pommel. Um, you do have a little bit of a uh, sharpening choil there. Very nice. Uh, I, I wish the handle was a little bigger. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, I usually wrap my pinky around the back of that uh, beak in the back there and that's most comfortable for me. You can bunch up on it a little bit. So depending on your hand size and stuff. Uh, comfort is, is going to be hard to tell for you, but uh, for me it works fine. Um, what gets me, uh, uh, the, the thing that excites me about this knife is that they put a really good edge on there. This is a flat ground, but it stays fairly thick, but look at that relief bevel, how thick, how long, I guess you would say, not necessarily thick that relief bevel is and it it's the same bevel on that edge all the way to the tip which I really like I like my blade edges to be even a lot of times when they sharpen a knife it's going to be thicker towards the uh, hilt and thicker towards the tip um, I like my edge angle even and that's exactly what they did here so that's kind of a good edge angle for me it, it, it it's it's more acute and I think that's going to be a good woodcutter we'll test that out and see okay it does come with a kydex like sheath uh, could be kydex it could be some kind of a plastic not really sure uh, it does have a tech lock like belt clip on it it works fine so you can uh, Vertical carry this, horizontal carry, scout carry, however you want. The blade does snap right in there. Not loose at all. You're not going to lose that knife. Um, here is the JXE JXO box. It came in a pretty good uh, quality box there. Um, on JXE JXO website, they call this the Ranger knife. When it was on Amazon, they called it the Cavalry knife. Um, so I'm not quite sure. It does come with a uh, nice colored confetti, a little cleaning cloth. It does give you a little little paracord lanyard. And uh, under the confetti, it does have a uh, striker and a uh, fire steel. There's no place, there's no holder on the knife, but it does give you one. So we'll see how that scrapes. And, and it's got a little... little whistle there. I haven't practiced with it. No, oh, that doesn't work so good right now. But um, yeah, there's the confetti. So the JXE JXO Cavalry or Ranger knife, we're going to check it out, see how she does. Alright guys, let's see what this cavalry knife 
can do, and this is, uh, they heat treat these to 58 HRC, and then we'll see if we can light up their confetti, but uh, let's check out, let's see how this knife will and I hope I'm in frame here it's hard to see in this sun but yeah as I suspected this edge is really really nice on this frozen I believe this is sparkleberry which is really hard wood but they did an excellent job with this edge. Nicely done all the way to the tip. So it's really easy to make feathers even on this frozen wood. Like I said, it's 10 degrees today. This is crazy for Arkansas. But yeah, that's what it is. So really... Nice edge work on this frozen hardwood. So, yeah, it's not too shabby there. Let's uh, split another piece. See how that goes. Of course, stuff like this, this is not a full test of any knife, but uh, I'll be using this knife more in the future, keep you updated, so this is not any kind of finality besides my poor batoning skills. <clears throat> nah, it's just slipping off. Come on. Yeah. Poor conditions today. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get it through this knot here. We'll get her. I'm not going to give up. There we go. Yeah, look at how fine that edge makes curls on frozen wood. Pretty nice. <clears throat> I hope this is in frame enough. <clears throat> Let's uh, check this tip out a little bit. Feels sturdy. Yeah, stuck it right in the ground. That's a good test. Matter of fact, uh, wow, kind of gonna get that right in half almost. Yeah. Got that nicely in the dirt. No damage. <clears throat> yeah, this is a really good working edge. I'll end up convexing it when I need to touch it up, but yeah. Great for notching. I think it would make a good skinner. <clears throat> See how take some bark off. Yep, it's definitely as sharp as I thought.
Yeah. Kind of a nice, nice blade to work with. All right, let's see what this striker does on this confetti. <clears throat> Put this knife over here. Take you down. I don't know if this is gonna go up or not, but we'll see what kind of sparks we get on their fire steel. First, you gotta get the coating off. Okay. Pretty good sparks. Their confetti isn't going up. All right. Well, yeah. Those are pretty good sparks. The uh, confetti doesn't seem to be good. If I had enough dry curls, would have done the job. But the JXE, JXO, Calvary knife. Pretty good so far. I like it. Common Sense Outdoorsman. All right. Yeah, let's check that edge before we take it out. Yeah. They did a good job with that edge. And yeah, the whistle. Let's go back to this whistle. Just got to give it a little more air.